What's up guys, thank you for watching another video today. It's been a while since I've been in this garage right here. Um, I know I haven't been posting updates on the DSM for like the past month and a half. This was because I was in Mexico for around a little over three weeks. Um, I had to go out there for a bit, but now I'm back. Uh, while I was out there, I did actually order more parts for the car. Uh, we're actually gonna go pick up a brand new part, which is a big, big part of this build. Um, over at uh, Monrovia and Live. We're gonna go pick that up. We actually got a new sponsor for the car, which we're gonna be working on today. It has to do with the wiring harness. Um, and we're also just gonna keep making progress with the car because you guys already know it's pretty much almost done. It's literally just all a bunch of little custom stuff that has to be done. So we can have it running, take it out to events, go to do stuff with it, um, and just have fun with it basically. Um, it's been a long time coming already, so I'm, I'm, ready, I'm, I'm back and I'm ready to basically finish it off. So all that's left is pretty much uh, the wiring harness, the rear mount, we have to pretty much fix that. We have to reinforce the front subframe. We have to figure out the whole shift linkage situation. We do have to figure out the axle situation, which I think we got to figure it out already. Um, and we have to figure out the drive shaft situation as well because the GSX one is a little bit too long. So I'm gonna play around with an evil one as well so we could do something. If not, we're gonna have to get a custom one made. Um, and besides that is just basically get it running, put all the fluids in there and then make sure that um, it doesn't have any boost leaks, any vacuum leaks, stuff like that. Make sure it runs good. Break in the clutch and basically Start driving it, I guess you can say. So yeah, let's start heading out. I need to go to the bank, take out some money, um, and then get this new part that I'm gonna show you guys. You guys are gonna get the first exclusive look because I will not be posting this on my Instagram until I have it and paint and powder coated. Um, so yeah, let's get to it. <laughs> Oh no, my car's dead, are you serious? All right, got the jump starter hooked up. Yes. All right, so we're currently arriving to Monrovia alignment. Um, I'm gonna go show you guys the part real quick. I've actually been trying to get this for like the past couple years. Um, and uh, Dave, damn, not David's party now. I finally get it. But I'll show it to you guys right now and say what's up to David. I see the car right here. All right, so this is uh, David's uh, 1995 Mitsubishi Eclipse GSX. It, w it did have a fully built motor, which is like right there, but he is partying out. He's being. A financially literate individual which is smart because he's getting rid of his dsm um so me being an irresponsible individual am actually gonna get his i think it's a six point or four point uh roll cage slash roll bar whatever you want to call it um this is made by auto power so it is a quality quality uh bar i just don't know if we're gonna be able to fit it in that DSM without having to take everything apart. Got the bolts off and stuff. These are supposed to slide off somehow, but I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this by myself. <laughs> oh shoot, okay, okay. <laughs> All right, got it out without your help. Hey, let them know how long I've been trying to get this shit for. <laughs> Damn, I don't even know. Dude, it's like been years, years, yeah. All right, so now that we got it, we gotta go take the cage to the white place. All right, so David left me again, so now I'm stuck putting this thing in a stock little Mitsubishi Eclipse. I still don't know if I'm gonna have to remove the seats, but I'm gonna try to fit in there without having to remove them. All right, so it actually wasn't that bad, uh, but it's in there. It's kind of funny because it's like an automatic 420A, 140 horsepower, but has a full on like little roll bar in there here. <laughs> Things crazy. All right guys, so I just left one Monrovia alignment again. Huge thanks to Dan. That's a clean ass S2K okay right there. The cage looks sick in the car. Uh, write down in the comments what color I should actually powder coat it. I'm thinking either black, gold, or just silver. So it goes with the car with a silver DSM, not this one. Um, anyways, huge thanks to David. I'm Butter's IG right here in the corner for you guys to follow him because he's always hooking it up. He gave me a free exhaust as well for the exit. A super rare one, a gritty truss exhaust from his GSX. So 
I'm on my way back home because Carlos is almost there. So I'm running a little bit late. And then once we get there, we'll start working on the silver DSM once again and get one step closer to finishing it off. What's good? Hey, my sister's here. What up? All right, so I got here just in time as Carlos came in. I haven't seen these cars in forever. And we're finally gonna be able to start working on it, on it again. Um, basically today's duties is, uh, we did get a new sponsor. Uh, they're called uh, Home Racing. Uh, they're gonna sponsor, up, uh, sponsor us with a new harness for us to wire tuck. So we won't be needing this one. And um, so we are gonna have to remove from the car, ship it out to them today or tomorrow. Um, and have them make it for us. Uh, once that's done, they'll ship it back to us and we'll go ahead and it'll basically be a plug and play harness. Um, of course, for all you guys wanting an Evo swap, you will have this option. So you do not have to basically go through the struggle that I did in making a custom one. Of course, this is an Evo 8 harness with a 420. So let's start with the harness. Um, it's already mostly out. Obviously, it's hooked up um, through there, which we're gonna have to remove. And it's hooked up through that side of the firewall and it's connected to the ECU. So first step is probably remove uh, unhook it from the ECU and probably feed it back through this way and then loop it down through the car and then pull it out this way So Carlos is the smallest one here. So he's probably gonna have to get in the car And then hook it up for us You got this. Oh god I don't want to touch carbon fiber <laughs> What's up, man? Hi <laughs> The ECU should just be like right there. Yeah. You see it? Just unhook it and once it's unhooked, we're just basically gonna like try to fit our hand. Let me take out this strobe bar. And you got the ECU? Yeah, just leave it in there. And then just basically try to feed the, the rest of the harness out here. And the harness is finally out. Trashy. <laughs> Obviously we still have to change up the manifold. Uh, paint the well, powder coat the valve cover. I don't know if I should do gold or if I should keep it red. Let me know, but yeah, I mean those are all the details that are gonna get done as you know as time progresses. Of course, we're just taking care of the essentials right now. Uh, so now, what do you want to do? The shift linkages or the subframe? All right, so they're already unhooked from here. We just gotta unhook them from here, and then hook them from the inside. Pull them out, and then try the Evil Four One. All right, so um, they're all off. Should be able to come right off. Carlos is now basically um, pulling it from that side, so we're able to pull him out the car. There you go. All right, here's one. And there you go. All right. So right off the start, I already see an issue. Um, lengthwise, lengthwise, they're they're different. They're different. Yeah. Let me see. Put that one there. Dang, so I don't even think the Evil 4 ones would fit it anyways. Man, so now we gotta find some type of shift linkage solution. So now that we have this shift linkage situation, uh, we're just gonna put it to the side and we're gonna move towards the subframe. Uh, we've never taken one off before, but what are we gonna do first? Um, just connecting the power steering rack from the... Uh, oh, that's up the top. Power steering. What is it called? Color. So disconnecting. It looks like it's just a bolt that's gonna be right here that this just pinches it like the lower, like our uh, coilovers. Yeah. So I'm just gonna move that and then it should disconnect from there. Disconnect from there. Okay. okay. So currently the jack stands are on the actual subframe itself. So we are gonna jack the car back up and move the jack stands probably more towards the rear. So we can start unbolting this. The only issue I see right now is like all the ball joints and stuff. We're trying to find out the simplest way to remove it with the least amount of work, but we'll figure it out right now. Good. That's sketchy. All right, let's move the jack stands real quick. All right, so I got the three main bolts off of this side. Now Carlos is gonna go ahead and go through that side real quick. The suffering dropped a little bit. Yeah, this yeah. is kind of stuck right now. Yeah, so we're actually just gonna unhook everything from the A-arms. Well, obviously, it's all gonna drop together, but that way we're gonna have to mess with like the whole ball joint situation in the multiple areas and yeah, we'll mess with the alignment. And it looks like the subframe dropped a little bit. You can tell right there. Um, now what? Lower it. Lower it. Lower it. All right, you Sit. go, Fred. I'm scared. That concentration. Though. <laughs> right. I've been to a bunch of wobble girls. 
You're not good. This was a Wobble Girl hater. <laughs> Anyways, as you guys can see, the subframe is finally on the floor. Uh, we had to detach the coilover on this side, but as you guys can see, we have nothing back here. Uh, so we did get a lot of progress done. What we did do, we got the wiring harness out, which is right here, which we're going to ship out either today or tomorrow. Um, we removed the previous shift linkages that were on here. Uh, and of course, try to see if the uh, Evo 4 ones will fit, which will not, which we'll have to figure out. And we dropped the complete subframe situation. So now we'll actually be able to reinforce it, hopefully, in the next episode or so. Um, but I mean, progress is progress. As you guys can see, like, and this is why we're gonna need a rear motor mount because once we're pushing power, it's just gonna snap and we don't want any of that stuff happening. So, really happy with the progress today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you then. Listen.